is a biomedical device company that focuses on treatments for animals, especially horses and dogs. And with me is John Lai, the CEO, with an update on what you've been working on lately. It looks like you've been very busy. You've got 17 products in the pipeline for animals, but there's also some human products you're working on too. Yeah, we're very excited. Remember we started off on the human side with the funding from NIH and DOD but we decided to go animals once we got the designation as a human medical device, so we didn't have to do any regulatory work. Aye. So the, on the uh, human side, we have some very interesting products that we feel will really help people as we launch these products into okay. the marketplace. And you will tell us about those when you're ready. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, there is public information oh, okay. on it. Well, yeah. Tell me about it, what you can. So we developed a uh, vascular shunt that has like zero clotting. And these are artificial shunts for the soldier in the battlefield that steps on a mine, the artery gets severed. They're putting artificial shunts in, and generally 30% of artificial shunts will clot. Huh. In our clinicals, we showed zero clotting. Interesting. And we were able to extend the time period that shunts usually stay in the body, it's very short term to get you to the hospital. Mm. We did with the pig studies, we did over a week of keeping the shunt in without clotting. So, so that's a pretty dramatic breakthrough, yeah. so we're excited about that. And then the other one is drug diluting stents. Our stents um, does not create thrombosis after the drug is done diluting the 30 day period. Mm -hmm. Because that was one of the major problems that other drug diluting stints have had. So, so we're excited to potentially down the road launch those products and most likely will partner with human device companies. Okay, and of course your specialty, horses and dogs, anything new with that? Yes, so you know we went to the uh, veterinary conference, uh, Western Veterinary Conference in Vegas, had pretty good reception and we're launching uh, within six months, a feline product for your cat. So, okay. so we'll be helping a lot of elderly cats. Because That's cats, breaking news. Yeah. Cats are gonna be, well, we can't ignore the cats. Well, there's so, 52 yeah. million cats in the United States, you That's know. Huge. So, so yeah. it's a big number. So our total addressable market will grow significantly. Right now it's about 4.8 billion, growing at 7%. So with the add-on of cats, I would expect that to be north of seven billion, six to seven billion range. Yeah. And, and your uh, product specifically address joints and things like that, right? Yes, uh, osteoarthritis joints, uh, it's called spring with osteocushion technology. It's basically particles that mimic cartilage and tissue. So it's purely mechanical, so there is no adverse effects, negative side effects upon injection. And once it's injected, it's using intraarticular injection uh, once it's injected, it actually forms a scaffolding, and it helps uh, reinforce and improve over time, literally. For the next six months, we've seen a tendency for the mobility and reduction of pain to improve. Okay, now you had a, a key hire recently, Dr. Joe Manning, so tell me what he brings to Pet Vivo. He is very well known for his work um, in the equine space. Mm. Uh, he used to be a senior vet with Merck Animal Health. Mm. Uh, probably 35 years of experience in the area, so it adds a lot of experience and credibility because his job will be to support the sales staff when um, veterinary doctors have questions uh, because salespeople are not supposed to make recommendations on how to do injections. You leave it to other vets, uh, so it's the same in the human space. That's why they have PhDs in pharmacology uh -huh. and a doctor on staff at these major pharmaceutical companies so they can directly talk and talk about off-label use and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then finally, I saw you just recently presented at the Emerging Growth Conference. So what was the focus there uh, on your presentation? Yeah, so it's a matter of educating the public of what we are because you know, people are used to seeing medical device, biotech companies going through the various phases of the FDA. Mm -hmm. And with us, we pretty much eliminated the risk or reduced it greatly because on the human side, we have the medical device designation and automatically on the animal health side of the uh, FDA, you're not required to do any FDA clearance or or w wait for them to recommend on anything, we can just go and commercialize. Okay, yeah. and then finally, we're headed toward the final stretch of 2021. Um, any, I, what are you looking forward to the final months of this year? Well, it's really busy for us because of the fact we're hiring uh, 
within the next 10 months another eight salespeople. Okay. So we're, we're going to be really introducing the product, trying to educate the consumers as well as the veterinary doctors. There is an alternative treatment for osteoarthritis that has much less side effects and seems to have much better efficacy. And it's a one-time injection, so it doesn't require, well, one time, it lasts at least 12 months. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't require compliance of the consumer like with the other products, because all the other products are masking symptoms and they require multiple I see. doses. So you have to keep up on your treatments yeah. where this is much easier to manage. Yeah, I mean, people know how hard it is to give a pill to a cat or a dog. Mm you got to do that once a day or twice a day. Mm -hmm. So, so, and then the cost advantages of our, our product, you know, we're, we're basically, if you look at the spectrum of what people pay on an annualized basis, we're actually on the low end, mm. but we provide better efficacy across the board. And ours has been re uh, reimbursed by pet insurance. Okay. Because it's a medical device. Yeah. And so, so we're pretty excited to educate the people about that. and. Uh, more cost-benefit um, type uh, analysis for them to understand. Okay, well thank you John for coming back and I look forward to another update. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.